Our next stop is Dhaka, the thriving and colourful capital of Bangladesh. We're here at the National Sports Institute, the BKSP, to catch up with the nation's cricket captain, Mushfika Rahim. It was a trip down memory lane for the skipper as he visited the school where he spent six productive years honing his cricketing skills. You know, Bangladesh, like, this is the only one institution for playing cricket and all, all can come here and they can have the opportunity to become a great cricketer from here. And also the coaches and the teachers, they really look after us very well and they're always inspiring us. Success came early for Mushfikur. He was only 16 when in 2005 he received his first international call-up, a wild card inclusion for Bangladesh's first tour of England. His impressive performances in the warm-up games led to his selection as a specialist batsman for the first test match at Lords. And his debut was made all the sweeter when he became the youngest player in a test match at the home of cricket. It was the biggest experience for any cricketer who, because they are representing for their own country. So it, it was my dream, but I never thought about probably it will come so early like that. But I was uh, mentally prepared for that because I played really well in the under-19 level, so all the expectation on me. Bangladesh's first innings was a disappointing one. Although Mushfikur did manage to add 19 runs to the total, he was one of only three batsmen to reach double figures. The historic moment in his career was unfortunately marred by an ankle injury that kept him out of the second test match. After that, uh, reprising that test, I came back home and I was really very sad. Then my, my parents said, Man, it, it can happen to anyone. Never one to be discouraged, Mushfikur focused his energies on recovering from injury and was fit to captain the youth side to fifth place in the ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup. And his hard work paid off. Later that year, Mushfikur was included in Bangladesh's senior ODI squad for the tour of Zimbabwe. He was then selected ahead of Khalid Mashud as first choice wicketkeeper for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2007 in the West Indies. That year saw him returning to the test side and hitting an impressive 80 against Sri Lanka. It wasn't until 2010 though that he finally made his first test century. The achievement however was well worth waiting for. It was the fastest century ever by a Bangladeshi cricketer and even more noteworthy for having been made against a strong Indian side. His versatility earned him praise from the then coach Jamie Siddons, who said Mushfikur had the ability to bat anywhere in the top order. That's a nice compliment. I want to always be a top order batsman, probably number four or five, because when you are batting at number four or five, you, you have to take a lot of responsibility for the team and for indi individually, and you can get a lot of time to bat yourself and then you can push it on. In 2011, Bangladesh co-hosted the ICC Cricket World Cup. It was the first major tournament held in the country in 13 years, and fans from the cricket crazy nation turned up in droves to support their team. It's really a huge moment for not only me, for the whole country, to hosting the World Cup. All the fans come and supported us, and we, try, we tried our level best, but we couldn't make it through the quarterfinals. But I think if you can see that, when we beat Ireland or when we beat England, we have to stay in the ground three, four years after the, winning the match because the crowd all over the place in the roads. So they are really very crazy and also they are really very emotional. And hopefully we can play much better in the upcoming World Cups. Bangladesh now has the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015 to look forward to and hopes are high that they will soon be able to shed their tag as perennial minnows. That will be a huge experience for us and we will give our 100%. If we can play one and two years really consistent good cricket, then we can have a great chance. Mushfikur's dedication and leadership skills led to his appointment as captain in September 2011. It was a well-deserved promotion for someone whose work ethic has been exemplary. Six months after being named skipper, he led his team to the Asia Cup final on home soil. Bangladesh put up a gutsy performance but lost narrowly to Pakistan. The margin of defeat, a mere two runs. It could have been much better if we won the final, but cricket is a game like that. 2012, it's a big for us, especially in the ODI cricket. We win against West Indies and I would love to see that we can win more matches and more series against the big boys. 2012 was a good year for Mushfikur, not only in terms of the overall performances of his team, but also on a personal level. The Bangladesh captain bagged the Man of the Series award in the ODIs against the indomitable West Indies and then followed that up with another notable achievement, a master's degree in history. 
education is a huge part of my life. You have to spend a lot of time in the field, but still I could manage and I'm really lucky and thanks to my teachers and my friends who helped me out throughout my career. With no studies to juggle with his cricket this year, Mushfikur will have both the time and the focus to concentrate his energies on the game. There's no doubt that he'll be looking ahead to the upcoming tour of Sri Lanka already, hoping that both he and his national team can build on last year's excellent work.